Hey guys, this is the original group 14. I'm Matt uh, from this group. And I will be showing you my library of games for my PC today. Okay, so I use Steam for all of my games. I don't really have any that don't. Um, so I'll just scroll through and tell you a bit about each of them. Okay, the first game on my list is The Binding of Isaac. Uh, this is an indie game made by Team Meat, uh, and I've played it a bit, you can see 11 hours. Uh, and it's very good, but once you get to a stage, you kind of are finished with it. Then I've got Borderlands, um, with all the DLC, which I've only played a bit of, because I've had other games to play, but what I've played of it is brilliant. Okay, moving on, Counter-Strike, the original. Uh, I've only played a little bit of this. Uh, because there aren't that many servers anymore, so I suggest getting Counter-Strike Source if you want to play online, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Condition Zero I've played more of because you can play with bots, which you've seen me play with uh, previously. Then uh, the package also came with Counter-Strike Condition Zero deleted, deleted scenes, which adds a few extra missions into the campaign mode. Defy Gravity is a little indie game. I tried to record it for you, but uh, it flickered a bit, much like the Unreal Tournament test. Uh, this is a very cool game. Um, it's a platform puzzle where you've got a pull orb and a push gravity orb. Then I've got Dungeon Defenders, which is a brilliant tower defense RPG action game hybrid. Um, I, I played an hour of it setting up all my towers towers and then I lost by one guy because I didn't get to him and shoot him down fast enough uh, but I still had fun I did it all over again that's why I've got two hours played. Dungeons of Dreadmoor is a brilliant game um, it is an RPG uh, roguelike where if you die once you are dead um, it's very addictive I love it. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion I was thinking of doing a let's play but it's a bit too um, too constrictive, as in I'd have to do a lot of episodes. Gary's mod is just fun to mess around, have competitions with some of my Steam friends. Half-Life 2 is an absolutely brilliant game and you should own it, but you should own it on PC because that's what it was made for. It's made by Valve, who also made Steam. Super Meat Boy, which is awesome. I actually bought this game as a disc, uh, the Ultra Edition, because I wanted the 40-page comic that came with it. Team Fortress 2 I bought before it became a freeware game, uh, which is brilliant. I've got some cool items on that and played a lot of it. Uh, Terraria, uh, you might have seen a video of that on Christian or Jack's um, old accounts. And these, this is a very good game that I've sunk a lot of hours into. Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition, uh, which has been the game, the Unreal Tournament game that I've been playing on for YouTube a bit. It's a brilliant game. My favourite map is uh, CTF Face. Then I've got VVV VVV which is, you know, the Let's Play game that I'm doing. I won't be able to upload a VVV VVV video today, but I will try to do it ASAP. Team Fortress 2 Beta. I was one of the lucky few who managed to grab a bargain and get TF2 Beta for free because I bought the game and there are only limited amounts for that, so I'm happy I got it. Team Fortress Classic, um, I've only played a very little of because of the same reason as Counter-Strike, lack of servers, but it is a very good game. Um, Assassin's Creed 2, uh, I've sunk a lot of hours into, won't be able to do a Let's Play because my laptop won't be able to handle it, um, and it is a very good game. Bioshock, I've only played a bit of, um, it's a very good game, uh, you should definitely get it, doesn't matter what thing you get on console or PC. Bioshock 2 I haven't even played, I've just got for when I get my new computer. Half-Life is a very good classic game if you can handle the graphics, uh, which I haven't particularly. I've got about three quarters of the way through and then kind of, yeah. So Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, I love this game, but it's not one of my favourites because, meh, don't play it that much. Half-Life 2 Episode 1 is brilliant, I have played this, uh, and it is absolutely awesome, uh, but it's short, 
so it follows on from Half-Life 2. Definitely get it for the PC. Same with this one, get it for the PC. I love this game, haven't finished it because I kind of uh, wanted to have it fresh in my mind for when they finally bring out Half-Life 2 3 or Episode 3. Half-Life 2 Lost Coast, I got this for free because I've got a Half-Life 2 game. Uh, it's showing off a different engine uh, and this was one of the chapters that could have been in the game. Half-Life Blue Ship is a mod which was branded as a game for uh, Half-Life which uh, shows you through the eyes of Barney Calhoun and it's a separate timeline story. And then this is Half-Life Opposing Force where you play as the opposition to Gordon Freeman. Uh, leader of the Half-Life game. Okay, this isn't a Steam game, but it's Project IGI, it's not the demo, just says it is for unknown reasons. Portal, another brilliant game. I've also got Portal 2, but I haven't been bothered to put it on as I won't be able to. And then I'm just installing Unreal Tournament 3 Black Edition, which I can't wait to play. Uh, I got this because it's in the sale, autumn sale, £3.49, definitely get it. Um, I'm getting it because I love the Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. Um, other games that I've got, you won't really need to know this, so I've got some games that I got for my old laptop and for when I was from when I was young, but I'll say them anyway. I've got Stronghold 2 Deluxe, uh, Worms Forts Under Siege and Imperial Glory, but I don't have them on this computer because I don't think I'll have them. Okay, thanks for listening guys, like, favourite, subscribe this video, it helps us a lot. Um, so that's my library of games for the PC, I've got a PS3 and I've got different games for that, so um, I might do that sometime. Okay, so thanks for watching, see you and goodbye.